We all know what jeans are and have a few pairs, but do we all wear them the same way? Are all jeans made the same way, or do they come in different styles? Let's take a look at the history of jeans, and how to wear them stylishly. See how most beautiful African jeans women rocking jeans with style, part 3. Welcome to the world of African jeans on fleek. This YouTube channel is for educational purposes, it promotes health and well-being, and it motivates individual black individuals from over the world, via their magnificent work of diverse arts. This channel is for everyone, let us know what topics you'd like us to cover, and we'll be pleased to upload them. Please remember to subscribe, click the bell button, like, and leave a comment. Jeans Origins Jeans are a type of trousers constructed of denim fabric. Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis first introduced the clothing in 1873, and it has stood the test of time. Jeans are named after the Italian city of Genoa, where a tough cotton corduroy fiber known as jeans was developed. Levi Strauss arrived in New York from Germany in 1851 to assist his brother in operating the family dry goods business. He traveled to San Francisco in 1853 to establish the western branch of his family's business, which also covered the sale of cotton textiles. Jacob W. Davis, a tailor who manufactured useful items like horse blankets, tents, and wagon covers, was there when he met him. One of Davis's customers requested that he construct a pair of pants that could resist tough and arduous work in 1871. Davis purchased the denim fabric from Levi Strauss and Company, strengthened it with copper rivets on the flies and pockets, and dubbed it blue jeans. Davis later planned to patent them, and contacted Levi Strauss about doing so. They teamed up, and established a large denim manufacturing. As a result, jeans were created. Jeans have been a symbol of the working class for 150 years, then a symbol of counterculture and rebellion, and now a fashion statement. Jeans have also progressed from their origins as blue-collar worker uniforms, and now appear in a variety of styles. Jeans are also available in a range of hues, however blue is still the most popular. What exactly does the term women's jeans imply? When compared to men's jeans, a form of denim designed for the feminine physique that is usually manufactured with the thighs cut closer to the body. Due to their working-class image and the fact that pants in general were not considered an acceptable option for ladies, jeans did not become fashionable with women until far into the 20th century. Then, in the 1930s, when many people were still recovering from the Great Depression, dude ranches in Nevada and Wyoming became popular vacation spots. These new Western settings inspired a look of Western chic and women's apparel, as seen in the 1939 film The Women, a trend picked up by Levi with its Lady Levi's campaign in 1934. However, it wasn't until World War II that women began wearing overalls as a matter of necessity, while working in industries to support the troops on the front lines. Rosie the Riveter, dressed in denim coveralls and a handkerchief, became a symbol for American women supporting their husbands overseas. Then came Marilyn Monroe and her unassuming, Jean-Clad beauty in films like The Misfits and Bus Stop, and jeans became sexy for women, gaining appeal among the younger generation. They have earned a permanent place in women's wardrobes by the 1970s. Women's jeans are now cut in a more feminine style, and are often tighter than men's jeans. They are also sized by a single number in the United States, such as 4 or 8, men's jeans are sized by waist measurement and inseam length. In addition, as women's body shapes have evolved throughout time, manufacturers have updated their sizes. As a result, a pair of jeans that were once deemed an 8 may now be a size 4 or 6. Top Denim Styles and Tips for Women's Jeans Jeans are a must-have item in any woman's wardrobe. Given this, it's astonishing that finding a pair of well-fitting denim pants is still so tough. 
it's difficult to know where to begin with so many various fits, styles, materials, and decorations. So, what are the best kind of women's jeans? We're afraid we won't be able to respond to that. It is largely dependent on your body type and personal preferences. However, we can provide you with a comprehensive overview of all you need to know about jeans. Jeans for women. Choose your favorite jean style. We've come a long way from the standard jean cut of the past, and there are now a plethora of designs and fits to choose from to fit every woman's figure. Straight leg jeans. The straight leg cut is a time-honored classic. This traditional jean design is excellent for every body type because it is straight and thin all the way down to the ankles. The straight silhouette is especially effective at lengthening the figure. The nicest part about the straight leg fit is that it can be dressed up or down according on the occasion, with a fashionable tunic and blazer, or with sneakers and a casual shirt. Straight leg jeans. Slim fit jeans are the right compromise between skinny and straight cut jeans. It has a slim line style that nevertheless manages to be comfortable, sculpted to the hips and thighs, while just skimming the ankle. Boot cut jeans. Boot cut jeans get their name from the ease with which they may be worn with a pair of boots. They begin narrow around the thighs and gradually spread below the knees, creating a slim shape. Boot-cut jeans have been a classic for years because of their elegant versatility, they flatter almost any body type and can be dressed up or down for any occasion. Skinny jeans. Skinny jeans are a great fashion triumph, allowing you to achieve a gorgeous, slender look while remaining comfortable. Skinny jeans hug your form from the waist to the ankles, while being elastic enough to allow you to move freely. They're perfect for wearing with your favorite heels, and they're especially good for women with longer legs or a longer torso. Flare jeans. Flare jeans hug the waistline, but flare out beyond the knees, giving a reference to simpler times. They might range from a modest flare to something that is meant to draw attention. Flare jeans look great on everyone, but they're especially appealing on ladies with broad shoulders and slim hips. Wide leg jeans. Wide leg jeans, while not as popular these days, provide lots of comfort and style when coupled with a fitting top. From the thighs to the ankles, wide legs spread out. Boyfriend jeans. Boyfriend jeans are all the rage right now, and why shouldn't they be? They have everything a girl could want in terms of elegance and comfort. Boyfriend jeans have a looser, roomy fit but nevertheless have a tight waistband for a flattering look. They're ideal for women who want to cover their legs, but they also look excellent on women of all shapes and sizes. Jean raises the question, how low should you go? You've probably heard of the terms high-rise, mid-rise, and low-rise jeans, which relate to how the trousers sit on your waist. You may already have a preference based on comfort or appearance, but if you're unsure, we've broken down the differences between the various rises below. High-rise jeans. Jeans with a high waistband sit over the navel and on the natural waistline. It can assist stretch the legs or tuck in the tummy rear, making it a fantastic choice for shorter or curvier women. Mid-rise jeans. Women's mid-rise jeans are by far the most popular style. The mid-rise waistband sits just below the belly button, helping to restrict larger hips while also being more comfortable for almost anybody. Mid-rise jeans. A low-rise pair of jeans is more sensual because it sits a few inches below the belly button, but it's also best suited to more relaxed occasions. Low-rise jeans, also known as Brazilian jeans, provide the illusion of a longer waist and are perfect for a night out on the town when coupled with high heels. Fabrics for jeans. Denim made entirely of cotton is no longer widely available as it tends to stretch out over time and become too ill-fitting to wear. Rather, denim mixes are growing more popular, with cotton, polyester, and viscous blends leading the list of denim materials.
Selecting a denim outfit. Aside from styles and fits, the appearance of jeans is something to consider. Jeans are now available in a broad variety of colors, styles, and embellishments. Raw denim, often known as dry denim, is unwashed denim. It'll be easy to detect because it's a traditional dark blue denim color that's firm to the touch. Denim washing is a technique for giving denim a worn-out appearance during the manufacturing process. Denim washing can result in a variety of patterns and colors, including a faded appearance. Raw denim jeans are softer and less flexible than jeans that have been denim washed. Light wash is a popular aesthetic that gives a faded, light blue appearance. The midpoint between raw denim blue and light wash jeans is medium wash jeans. They have some fading in the material to give them a softer appearance. Another popular choice is acid wash jeans. To create contrasted or speckled colors, the fabric is treated with chlorine and pumice stones. It's a terrific alternative for a casual outfit. Denim and white. White denim is generally seen to be a risky fashion choice, but it isn't. White jeans are a terrific smart outfit, especially when paired with a darker blazer and a tear sweater. Denim and black. Black denim, like white denim, can be dressed up for the office, and it's a little easier to pull off. In fact, black denim jeans are a terrific wardrobe staple, since they provide a plain canvas on which to experiment with bigger statement pieces on the top half of your body. Denim with a worn-in look. Distressed jeans have been tampered with or worn out during the production process. Over the denim, the cloth may have permanent wrinkles, rips, or scrape patterns. It adds a worn-in look to your jeans. Your jeans are supposed to be your go-to pants, so make sure you choose something that fits you perfectly. This is the one piece of clothing you'll want to put on regardless of how you're feeling, so make sure you're happy with how you feel and how you look in them. watching African Jeans on Fleek, we hope you enjoyed today's topic. Please remember to subscribe, click the notification bell, like, and comment.